Welcome to today's lesson. In this program, I'm going to show you how to stop missing short balls on your forehand and finally blow your opponent off the court. The first action step that you need to take and what we could call the secret is adjusting our swing path. A lot of people are very focused on making a huge letter C and going over the non-hitting shoulder. What we want to do is feel like we swing across a tabletop instead and finish below our non-hitting shoulder. You also need to generate a lot more top spin the closer you are to the net and perhaps you need to hit a little bit slower as well. When we contact the ball, we need to make sure that we're covering the top of the ball and not keeping our wrist back through contact point and shoveling the ball. A lot of people usually miss short balls long. They end up overhitting the ball and the remedy is at contact point, relaxing your wrist so that you could form a straight line with your wrist and your racket head and feeling like you exaggerate this windshield wiper motion with a very loose arm as we finish more across the table under our non-hitting shoulder. Now, another thing that may help is also having your body weight leaning into the court. You don't really want to be falling backwards when you're this close to the net. Perhaps it's okay to hit off your back foot and lean backwards when you're behind the baseline, but when you're up close, you want to have your body weight falling towards the court. So as I'm hitting, I want to feel like I'm getting my chest leaning over my toes. And after I hit, I should be falling into the court to follow my shot in for a volley or an overhead. And keep this in mind, this is just a strategy tip. If you're already in this position, you don't need to kill the ball, okay? Placement is a lot better. Making your opponent play an extra shot is better than you just missing entirely. So until you've developed the proper technique to swing freely without fear of missing, go for placement instead. You know, hold the line, go down the line. Don't feel the need that you have to, you know, pretend you're Federer and a doll and just smoke your opponent off the court. So just to review the main concepts, swing across the table. Okay, we want to have a more tabletop swing, finishing under the non-hitting shoulder, right from the side, it looks like this, right? We don't want to have a huge take back either because we're taking the ball early, so there's less time to set up. So we don't want to go like this and then loop, right? We want to hit through. And then the second main focus is covering the top of the ball and making sure that we relax the wrist and cover it over the top of the ball so we get extra top spin and really exaggerating the windshield wiper motion the closer we get to the net. These are the things that you need to do, okay? And remember the bonus tip as well. Try not to lean backwards. Get your chest over the ball. In any event, thanks for tuning in and use what you've learned to modernize your game. If you like what you learned here, I recommend taking the next step and going into my online course because it takes what we've learned and it builds on it and will show you how to have power and consistency for the rest of your life. Tennis Doctor is a self-help tennis book for adults. If your swing is f***ed up, you will never win. On the contrary, you could have slow reactions, terrible footwork, and be 40 pounds overweight, yet still produce a good shot if you can perfect your swing. By reading Tennis Doctor, you own the secret to a perfect swing. And if we have to, we'll call you an Uber to get to the ball in time. Read it now on Amazon and Audible in every country.